Hello. Today I want to talk about the Roberts Fogger. This is a low-lying fog generator that I created that does not use ice or any kind of refrigerant. I found some parts online that I thought might work. I did some experimenting and I came up with this and I've been really happy with the results. What I'm using for fog is a standard $30 hardware store fog machine. Here goes just a standard blast. As you can see, it's hot fog. It does not fall or it doesn't hang low. It's just standard fog. In fact, it is thick mist, which I got at Guitar Center. Inside this box is just standard tap water. Actually, I filled this up from a garden hose. Also inside the box, I have a recirculating pump that takes water from the bottom and pumps it up into the bucket faster than it gets used so it overflows back down into the reservoir. And this could be filled to the height of the bucket if need be. So first I'm going to run the fog machine through the box without turning it on. So now as you can see, the fog comes out and it's still hanging in the air. It's just going to rise and act like standard fog. Next I'm going to turn the machine on and we're going to wait a moment. The fog machine is probably going to go into cool down during this and in that case we're just going to wait as a continuous shot because I want to prove I'm not adding ice to this box. This is straight up standard average water. I should probably be using distilled water but for this demonstration it's completely fine. So let's see if it's been on long enough. So here we go. What else can I say but ta-da! Low-lying fog without ice or refrigerant. There's no air conditioning unit. It's just standard water. Now, while the fog machine is in cool down, I want to talk about how I've connected to the machine. Oh, poor Yurik. I knew him well. Uh, you may have noticed I had about an inch of space. Uh, I could have up to three, about three finger widths, and this will work fine. Pardon me while I get the skull. Now the reason for this is when you run fog into a pipe or a tube, you have to have some airflow if you want a lot of volume to come out of it. So without the dispersion pipe that I had, this is with the uh, couple inches of gap, you can see how much comes out. Now I'm going to choke this up and restrict the airflow. All I did was move this closer and watch how different it behaves. Now that's actually kind of cool right here, but if you're trying to disperse across a seam, a floor, a graveyard, whatever, you're going to need a lot more output than just this. Now, this looks really cool uh, right here in front of the tombstones. But again, give yourself a couple inches to allow additional air flow. I think it's called the Venturi effect, where it draws in air with a little bit of uh, movement and then it draws in more air. So it kind of multiplies your output. 
and that's it. So all of this is just water and a fog machine and a little special item I have inside. And maybe I'll get to that in a moment. Okay guys, I really kind of wanted to keep the Roberts Fogger a secret, at least until after Halloween. I'm just really proud of what I came up with using off-the-shelf parts. But I also believe we all get better by sharing information. So I'm going to tear this down and show you all the parts. And I'm going to explain how I think this is working because I don't actually know the science behind it, but I'm going to share what I think is happening. So the tubing was just standard PVC piping. And as I said before, the fog machine was just a fog machine, like from... Um, one of the big box hardware stores or a popular department store which sells Halloween items. But I will say this, invest in some quality fog juice. The, the cheap stuff, like at the hardware store or department store, will actually ruin your fog machine in the off season. So if you use the cheap stuff on Halloween night, that's great. Empty it out, put in some quality fog fluid run that through your machine for a couple minutes so that you're storing it with the good stuff um, on the lid of this it's just a piece of board that I cut some holes in so the pipes could come through I don't know that the length of the pipes make a difference to anything this is just how I happen to uh, mount them okay so inside here as you can see there is a bucket and in the bucket I have suspended a pond misting unit yeah and this is a, a tin head uh, fogging unit now the reason I have it in this bucket with uh, an overflow pump is because as the fog is generated from this, it uses up water. So I have to replenish the water. And it, this has an optimum depth that it works at. And I've worked it out and that's from the top of this to the top of this is I, I don't know the measurement, but this is the optimum depth for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the fog unit on. And as you can see, there's a red light here, but it's not going to come on until these sensors are completely covered in water. Uh, before I start the pump, I want to show you I'm using a 110 volt to 48 volt transformer. High voltage, very dangerous. Please use caution if you're going to build one of these um, or get an enclosed high current 48 volt transformer. So as you can see, this has been on, but it has not uh, turned on. So I'm going to start the recirculating pump and I'm going to uh, talk about how I think this works. I was reading somewhere online about how uh, low-lying fog works and that the fog juice picks up moisture off of the ice. So having ice around a tube that isolates the fog from the ice 
uh, you run the tube through a cold oh there see it started on its own the water level got high enough we're gonna let this continue to fill if you run a tube through ice and you isolate the ice from the fog sure the fog will cool but it won't get denser it won't it won't stay heavy because it's merely cold but you'll see there are some fog chillers which run the fog directly over or through the ice and what that seems to be doing is picking up humidity or moisture off of the ice and making the fog not only cold but heavy and I think that's how this works so I'm skipping the ice and I'm skipping the cold and I'm giving it a lot of humidity that the fog can run through and pick up so as the hot fog goes in it merely cools by contact with water this is not chilled water this is out of the tap and in fact after this runs for about an hour this unit gets warm and the water is kind of warm to the touch not bath water warm but not cold but it still works just as effectively the fog stays heavy and drifts down to the ground and just hangs uh, if you've ever used fog through a fog chiller that doesn't run it through ice like I said a tube that isolates the fog from the ice and just cold you may notice the fog comes out cold and then it starts to rise and hang for whatever reason this lets the fog stay low until it's evaporated or dissipated or whatever fog does so I think that's how this works if anybody knows more than I do please let me know in the comments I would love to learn why this works so well and um, I don't know how long I could run this with this small amount of water uh, but I've been testing tonight for what hour and a half and it looks to be about the same level of water of course this is a I think a 20 gallon fish tank um, so as you can see that misting unit fills up this aquarium up to about this level with mist and that's about as high as it'll go before it it dissipates or recondenses and falls back to the bottom so I'm going to add while this is running I'm just going to add this lid again and I'm not going to tape it up so there's going to be a lot of leakage around the lid and we're going to set the fog machine back up again with a gap for airflow and there you go low-lying fog as you can see just a moment ago there was no ice in the water but look how thick and dense and heavy this is and this effect works even better when you use low-lying fog I don't know if it's formulated to pick up the humidity better but um, check it out it's staying staying low I hope you enjoyed this explanation of a Roberts Fogger and if you build one please link me the video I'd love to see how you constructed it and if you use it on Halloween light uh, Halloween light Halloween night definitely please post a video and uh, and shoot me a link for it I really would love to see these in action uh, across haunts everywhere thanks for watching build something cool